Madam Mayor, do you have any ro opening remarks that you would like to share? Is there a time limit or not? Five minutes. Yeah. Thank you, and good afternoon, everyone. It is really great to be here in UM Plaza to really highlight a significant problem in our city. The fact is, I grew up in this city. I was born and raised in this city. And what I experienced growing up with the open air drug dealing and drug using and the challenges of poverty and the crime and the violence, it's not a new problem. I think the problem is now is the people who live here, the folks who work here, and the people who experience these challenges every single day, they deserve better. And we can't keep speaking out of both sides of our mouth. On the one hand, we want change and we want to hold people accountable. And on the other hand, we're willing to let people get away with murder. The fact is we got challenges in this city and we have to make the kinds of decisions that are gonna allow for people to get the help and the support they need, but to not allow things to continue in the way that they have for far too long. I'm happy to see the Board of Supervisors here in UN Plaza. And my hope is that even though this is only the district of one supervisor, that every member of the board, including the president, takes this as an opportunity for us to focus our time and attention on real solutions. We have tried over and over again, and what we are doing is not working. And in fact, our local resources have increased, but it has not dealt with the problem based on the magnitude of what we're experiencing. I run into people day in and day out in the Tenderloin, and they say, London, we would have never been allowed to get away with this stuff back in the day. And the fact is, it's time for a change. We want to get people help, but we will not continue to allow things to just occur as they have been. And so here's the opportunity. Are we going to collaborate and work towards solutions? Or are we going to let the same old thing happen over and over and over again? This city has dedicated more resources to treatment, to abstinence-based treatment, to prevention, to help, to support, to programs that are universal basic income, to housing. I can go on and on about resources that have expanded considerably. The city leads with programs first. And so the fact is, that means that we have a problem if this continues to persist. I am putting everything on the line. I am doing this job without fear of losing it. Because at the end of the day, when you know what it feels like to grow up in chaos, you want nothing more than change. Well, you want nothing more than something better for the kids and the next generation of people who are growing up in the midst of this chaos. Why should someone else's rights be put before their needs and their safety and what they deserve too in a place like San Francisco that claims to be so compassionate and liberal? What about them? So at the end of the day, some people are going to like it and some people aren't. And that's just what it is. Because I'm putting everything on the line to change what we need to do. And so with that, Supervisor Peskin, I appreciate your letter. I appreciate this dialogue. And I appreciate the opportunity to answer your question thoroughly. Thank you, Mayor Breed. And it is in that spirit, as just expressed by the mayor, that we have to coordinate, we have to collaborate, and every month, as set forth in the charter of the city and county of San Francisco, the Board of Supervisors has an opportunity to ask questions of the mayor. And we just heard that the mayor shares mine and many of my colleagues' concerns that the brazen drug dealing and de deteriorating street conditions uh, have exacerbated a humanitarian crisis on our streets, and I agree. This is not a new problem, but it is one that has become so visible that many San Franciscans do not feel safe, even though San Francisco in most of its neighborhoods is as safe or safer than it was prior to the pandemic. But meanwhile, the overdose deaths continue to mount, 
and I think we've all acknowledged that there has that there is a crisis, and we need to treat it like a crisis. And I think that I appreciate that. And at the at the bottom line is we have to coordinate our departments, not only amongst themselves, but with regional, state, and federal agencies. Over the past many months, I've had the opportunity to walk the streets with various local and regional agencies, as well as neighborhood leaders, including in this neighborhood. And I continue to hear from many that this is, as the mayor just said, not an issue of resources, but an issue of coordination. And so my question to Mayor Breed, since you have rightly called the open air drug dealing and a surge in overdose deaths a crisis, we are, we are acknowledging that problem, sir. So my question to the mayor is, will you now, as we do in any major emergency, stand up? All right, let me ask my question. You will have an opportunity for public comment. Will you now, Mayor Breed, as we do in major emergencies, stand up an emergency operations center that will coordinate all of the many agencies and departments that can address this crisis, including our police department, the district attorney's office, the sheriff's office, the California Highway Patrol, our park rangers, our BART police, UC police, adult probation, very importantly, the San Francisco Health Department and the Department of Public Works, Child Protective Services, and our courts, as well as other appropriate agencies, and direct them to shut down public drug dealing in open air sites such as this one in the next 90 days. Madam Mayor. Well, thank you, President Peskin, for your question. Um, I do think that the fact is, I'm not sure without listening to the public that this is going to be the right forum to be able to answer your question thoroughly. So, in light, in light of the mayor's statement, which I appreciate, we will recess this meeting to the Board of Supervisors Chamber, wherein the mayor will respond to the A for Ask question. We will recess to the Board of Supervisors Chambers. You are all welcome to join us. Thank you. You bet.